David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise God. This is the day that the Lord he has made. I will and you should always rejoice and be glad in it. Somewhere I read, brothers and sisters, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Regardless if you're going through anything, hopefully you are not. According to uh, our faith, the word says that our faith grows exceedingly. And if our faith grows exceedingly, then that faith shield ought to grow exceedingly. Well, praise God. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. And as we grow, we give God praise and we give him glory. I was at the car dealer this morning and um, the dealership and a friend of mine that works there said something that I, I'm going to be using. And he has been delivered and he works there. And um, name is Michael. I, and um, he said, we were talking about the goodness of the Lord. And he's a deacon, I think. Yes. And he says about praise. He says, if we praise God in public, he'll bless us in public. That doesn't mean going down there on your job and running down in hallways and up to say, oh, bro. No, no, no. But if it comes that you pray to praise God, to give him glory. Because somewhere I read where it says, if you are ashamed to own me before men, I will be ashamed to own you before my Father, which is in heaven. He said, if you praise me, in, if he said, if you praise him in public, you will get blessed in public. And they said, when praises go up, bless, glory to God, blessings come down. Amen, a, 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 amen. And praises go up. Blessings come down. And according to what I read, that it, they said, it says that in the Amplified, other than praise stops the avenger, praise makes the devil shut up. He was the archangel of worship and praise. And he was cast down. Now, so when we give God praise instead of giving him the devil prays through a lot of negative talk, a lot, a lot of negative isms the way we have. We glory to God, give God praise, give him glory, give him up, shuts him up. Not only that, not, not only that, it launches angels. It launches, we need that. And, and, and as we grow, because the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth. I thank God for the things that I'm learning right now and been learning in our, in our ministry and being delivered for 33 years. I had some things going on last night. And, and the word of God plainly tells us, and I spoke on that, about the fiery darts. Don't think it's strange concerning the fiery darts which is to try you as though some strange thing happened. Now, the, yesterday, there are a couple of things that, it, that went on, but, you know, at least Satan get that advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of the devices. When it started happening, I, I said, uh-huh. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, and then the devil was strategically set up something. Why? Because maybe he don't like what you're saying. Hmm? Because of, of, of the facts of the matter, the word of God says that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Me or others like me that are putting this out there so far as the word is concerned. Because Jesus, the head of the church, the body that I'm in, which is the body of Christ, say to preach the word, not what Eddie thinks. But as I grow, and inside, because you remember I've been talking about the in, living from the inside, just like folks eat and they big, 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 big. Then our spirits need to start getting big, 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 big. Huh? Wow, wow, wow. So, 
this other thing happened. I, I saw the setup, but I, it, I, but I just thought it was nothing. But when it happened that second time, and this thing happened, and it's raining, and I said, oh, God. I almost lost it. The old lady started coming, but the issue is what get it. But it was, you know, there's an old song they used to say, something within me that holds the rain, something within me that is just pain, something within me I cannot explain. All that I know there is something within me. I started losing it, but then again, it was something that grabbed me from the inside and withheld that. And the next thing I know, peace came over me. And I, look, you can't do anything. Uh, uh, in chaos and confusion and I just I calmed down did what I had to do it worked out fine but I knew what it was I knew what it was at least they can get the advantage of us for we're not ignorant of his devices but you see me this is for somebody that you need to know that I am on your side I am on your side. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. Nothing. But we need to get our joy back. Glory to your holy name, God. We need to get our joy back. And remember, and we're in the last of the last. Thank you, God. Oh God, the last of the of the last days. We're in the last of the last days, brothers and sisters. Our joy. At this time, we must curl mind is death, the spiritual mind is life and peace. This ain't about Eddie or whoever is doing but I'm only speak to me. Because when I have to stand before the judgment of bar of Christ and give an account, I'm the only one gonna be standing there. To give an account for this body, the deeds done in this body. God is also He's not mad at you. I am not mad at you. Come to me. I will in no ways cast out because my word is my will. I will not violate my will. He said, I will I remove your sin from the east as from the west. That's what God is saying to you. Wherever you are in the world, he says, if you come to me, I will in no ways cast out. Caught up on the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. For you that have been caught up like me, he's willing and able to deliver you right now. Ain't no devil can stop you. Just takes a made up mind. Like, like me. You don't have to go to no priest. You don't have to go to anybody. You don't have to go to anybody. Because the word of God says that when Jesus died, it was rented from the top to the bottom. Meaning what, Reverend? Pastor, what are you talking about? It means you have direct access to God through Jesus Christ. Direct. I do not have to go and to no confession. I can go right to the Lord through Jesus Christ. That's it. Because what can a man do for you anyway? I can confess my sins. Yeah. But what good is it going to do to him, for him? What happened uh, uh, about the holders of holies? If they had to put a rope on him, if he didn't make it out, they had to drag him out of there. He's a man just like me. Amen. So, go to God right now. We've been having a great discussion. I just came from an hour and a half live stream. And we want to also wish you a Merry Christmas. And a very prosperous New Year. And it's going to be, I know the way this thing is going right now. But we need to claim the blood of Jesus Christ. We've also on our live stream, our prelude. At the so necessary, 
her and um, Minister um, Geraldine Chandler has been ministering on a Jezebel spirit. This Sunday at the Sylvester 5985 West Century Boulevard. We're going to live stream it, but you need to be there at the Sylvester 5985 West Century because she's going to continue on our, the study of a Jezebel spirit. And what she put out today was heavy. I brought it in on our prelude, brought it in on the, also on on um, our KDM weekly chat, and then today, and she went in depth again about a Jezebel spirit, and then linked it to Samson and Delilah. You need to be there, 3 o'clock this coming Sunday at the Sonesta Hotel. But I got a, a word for you, especially for us that have been delivered. The Bible says, David said, that's why we talk about King David Ministries and, and, and David. David was a man after God's own heart, yet David did some things. Amen. And that's, but, 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 but when he did that, uh, and he had uh, Uriah kill because he had gotten his wife pregnant and um, um, he put him in the hottest battle because he was so loyal to his king Bathsheba was the name took his own death warrant because he obeyed his king And was put in the hottest battle because he did not go down to his wife. And David, you know, put him in the hottest battle and withdraw. He was mad after God's own heart, but he, when the prophet said, if a man had one hue lamb and this person had everything, and this one that had everything took that one lamb from this man that he loved so much. What should be done to him? He said he should, sh David was a warrior. He said that man should surely die. The prophet looked at him and said, you are the man. See, but David, there's one thing about David. David repents. He knew how to repent. He, he said he rent his clothes prostrate before the Lord. That's why that some have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercy. Blood out! My transgression. Even though that child, he couldn't save it. But it's one thing about David. When they said, David, your, your, your son is dead. Because he has to be paid. And that thing, and especially, you, know, you have to realize you reap what you sow, and then things have to, you have to be, it has to be paid. And I, I've, I've talked to young folks, you can, you do this now, but after a while, if you don't repent of that, it has to be paid. You don't, you don't, why go through that when you can stop it and repent of it? And, and, and this Jezebel spirit, we, I mean, it's, it's a great study. And you need to be there in person, especially for you young women. And you women, period. You need to be there under this ministry. Amen. Minister Geraldine Chandler. Amen. And we hope to see you this coming Sunday. Psalms. Uh, let's look at Psalms 54. Starting at verse 1. Save me, O God by your name and vindicate me by your strength hear my prayer O god give ear to the words of my mouth for strangers have risen against me and oppressors have sought after my life they have not set god before them let's stop right there father we thank you and we praise you for your word is forever settled in heaven now, Father, as my tongue is a pen of a ready writer, and Father got the message that go ahead, I give myself as a vessel of clay to you, that you may use it for your glory. And we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank God. Amen.
Now, as David said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. For you that have been look, looking at this ministry years ago when we started it, the Voices of Recovery, King David Ministries, Little David Ministries here, Reverend Blackwell, no, and then it went to, the Lord told me to change it to King David Ministry. Now it's just King David Ministry. Amen. But however, high hell for you that are delivered and set free first of all the message going we are in we're in the last of the last days and as i said before as this thing goes on and you know they're dissolving a lot of the encampments but hey the spirit of god just like the spirit of god moved across in the beginning the spirit of god is going to move across and then to those folks that have that many have been caught up. I talked to one person, the name was Sunshine, that said she was a minister, was out there in a the tent. That got, I believe, got caught up, as I did. But I just didn't go to the no tent. I didn't die. There are some that died. I know of some that died. However, as they the Spirit of God moves across that encampments and wherever they are, because folks have mental issues that are out there. Folks walking down the street talking to themselves. But God, look, Jesus died for them as well as us that are in Christ, that are, say we are sound minded by. He died for them just as well. And Dr. King said something, we're coming up on his birthday. He said, we can't be free until all of us are free. Hmm? So, don't be surprised as the Spirit moves across that, folks get delivered, miraculously get set free. Next thing you know, they're out there preaching. Don't be surprised if some of them end up being your pastor. Now, because a lot of people, that I, I, I even say when I got called to the ministry and talked to somebody that I knew, and the first thing they said to me, you sure is not the drugs talking to you. Come on, a pastor. When I said, no, it's not the drug, but I said, it's okay. It's all right. But no, I'll help you know it's all right. It's okay. But I went on anyhow. But I knew, I knew what I was called to do. Because in my ordination, one of the questions was, how do you know that you were called to preach it? Jeremiah 1, 5, from the mother's room, that preacher, as I've said before, that preacher said, I don't want to hear that. I do not want to hear that. I know what that says. It can, I, it's, it's wrote, wrote right there. Anybody can quote that. I don't want to hear that. I want to know how you know you called to preach. And I told him. I told him just for my birthday. 1988. Home by myself. In the bathroom. I heard the Lord's voice twice in that room. Twice. Right there. Once. When you gonna preach? I, I heard it. Sat there and listened. Sat there for a while. Try, and tried to. I said, "Oh God, no!" But it was right there. Second of all, I started. I started going. When are you gonna preach? Now. Now I, I knew it was nobody in that house but me. And we didn't. We and from then on, it didn't leave me alone until I accepted it. Now for you that have been delivered and set free. Proverbs 6, 30 and 31, I'm just about out of time, is saying that if the thief be found, he's to give it back seven times as much as he stole him. Listen, listen, but this is a message. We have been, we have been stole from, especially out there on them drill. Just say you had $10,000 you, 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 you spent on crack. I ain't talking about the ones that need to be delivered right now. But you out there, if you made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life and you really trying to get better by living by that word, throwing away, because just because you accept Christ, that it ain't like going to some CA men, uh, okay, I'm not using, but I'm doing everything else. All these four letter words, that's why I stopped going to meet. Give me, a, you know, you're diluting the message. The message is, I'm trying to get a message over about, uh, 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 about getting clean and sober, and everything come out of your mouth is a four-letter word. Well, then, it, really, your message means nothing. A a amen. 
But now, you've been delivered and set free. You've lost everything. Now, the word says that in, in Matthew 6, to seek me first and all this and that. Because here's when a lot of folks, they get delivered and set free. And then I got to get back. I got to get my cars back. I got to get my family back. I got to get this. I got to get that. That's exactly what the devil will look. Let me tell you one thing. Spiritual law, where we're teaching on this at King David Ministries, and especially for you that have been on drugs and alcohol, this is what the devil you and and he says you must give it back seven times. Yes, say if it's ten thousand dollars, then the thief owes you seventy thousand dollars. Yes, say you lost a house. If it's three hundred and fifty thousand dollars right now, times seven. However, don't go after that. He says, seek me for and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Because I got ten minutes left. Listen, listen, brothers and sisters. Especially for you that have been delivered. And now and, and if you're looking at me right now, God is wait. Get delivered and set free and start getting into this word. Amen. Bill Story can't do that because we still have to go into eternity. You're looking at a spirit. And if you're looking at me anywhere in the world and you're looking at me, you are spirit. We just got bodies. And that as human as man, that makes us legal. But especially for you that have been delivered. He wants you to be delivered. Amen. And get knowledge in order to lift him. He said, if I be lifted up, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. But if you look in Revelations 2 and 3, it talks about for him that overcomes. Talks to the church. To him that overcomes. To him. What does God think about you? Not only that, as a human man, the human person, which is a spirit in dirt, it says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and he said, we, and uh, I think in uh, 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 Ephesians 2, 4, that we are his workmanship. We are royalty. Now, all this money that the devil has stole from that is uh, somewhere in the spirit realm, or whatever it is, we've been stolen, and the devil hoping that you'll never get it so he can distribute it because that's what it is, money and power. That idiot thing. This is your money. We are joined as we cry. Do you realize? And I've got this revelation. He said, it's my money. It's mine. And now I'm telling you, now you will fight if you try, but if there are ways that you have to try to you have to not try to get it back. But in the meantime, if you do. And you will. He's going to do everything he can to stop it. Why? Because he figures it's here. Not only that. But the, with the stuff that we've been using. Unbelief. And, and our tongues and everything. He figures even though he knows it. That he owns you anyway. And you've been. And you are a Christian. And in the kingdom of God. He is the God of this world. But if you're a Christian here. He's not your God. However. All this money is right there. Because watch this. Watch this. Just like getting my healing. I'm very steeped in healing. That's easier than money. Because God can't throw money over the balances of heaven. Because it will be counted. So in order to get our money back in sevenfold. We can't even think about it. We have to build up the capacity for faith. In order. It's just like a... a, a, a a switch. What did the woman do when she touched it and was gone? You had to build that up. She was built up so when she touched the power, man, Jesus said, Wow! Virtue is going out of me. That's what we got to do. And that's what he hoping you don't do. Because the money is here. Don't worry about it. And see, this here, he said, and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Listen, I'm giving you, I'm giving you facts here. Now, when you start doing it, the mind will start telling you where, where, where. Then they say, maybe you'll get this, that. Maybe. It's a lie. It's a lie. We walk by faith and not by sight. And if you're a king, you look or queen, decree it and let it go. Because the bottom line is, if I decree a thing, it shall be established. A queen or king does not matter. All he does is decree it. Your words come to pass. Call those things that be not as though they were. It's not our business how it comes. But we have to have the faith enough 
to grab it from God. Watch this Deuteronomy 8 and 18. I'm going to hold it with this. Now watch this, especially pastors. Watch this. I got, thank you, Reverend. Five minutes. Thank you, Reverend. Deuteronomy 18, 8 and 18. For it is the Lord your God that gives you the power to get wealth to establish. That is the key. To establish his covenant. There's nothing wrong with being wealthy. Nothing wrong with that. But he said, it is the Lord your God that gives you the power to get wealth. He even told Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate at it day and night. Then shall you make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Huh? Now, he said, it's the Lord your God that gives you the power to get wealth. what? To establish his covenant. As the money begins to come back, it is to get Homes that are open in the name of Jesus to get folks delivered and set free. Bibles printed. Folks, I didn't say, a lot of folks talk about where the church ain't no welfare. I say, I understand that. But he loved them just like he loves us. And we as the body of Christ got to take over for Jesus to come back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the bottom line is, yes, we can be delivered. And set free and get this money, but if like Copeland said, God don't have checking privilege in the lot. Yeah, we yeah, we got many got pastors got that have gotten a lot of money, cars and homes, and I've heard a conversation the other day with, with two pastors on what they had. Never heard too much about about the God the, and how many people in the congregate there, but didn't hear anything else. Didn't hear anything. And I, I was privy to that conversation. I didn't say nothing. It's the Lord your God that gives you the power to get well. And that's what it is. Listen. Especially for you that have been delivered. And get delivered. The, we have to believe for that money and get our other brothers off the street. Get a, all the sisters off the street. Get them off. Get them delivered. And in the meantime. He said if you seek me first. I'm going to. You you going to get grand style. Say, Bible said lavishly, but the issue is if I if I say I'm like Pastor Chapman or, or Sister Chapman's women, Eddie give uh, Sister Chapman or, 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 or brother tag ministry ten thousand dollars. Now I'm a multi trillionaire. What's ten thousand dollars? But I obey because he's not gonna throw money over the battlefields of heaven. It's here, and it's mine. Probably. That's the word of God even said. Talking about why are you going in there and praying for somebody, and you got the mean to help him right there. Don't pray. Buy him some food. It's in your pocket. That's what the money is for. This is the Lord your God to give you the power to get wealth, to establish His covenant, and the money is coming. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Now I ain't say it. However, however, however. It's just like if you, if, if God has got to come back, and the only authority he has is us, and especially as pastors and ministers. And as we, if that will come in, because it hasn't been coming, and if you, and now in the last of the last, if you don't do that, what he said, that, that about that fruit in those rims, gonna cut you off. Gonna cut you off. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. It's the Lord your God. To give you a power to get what it's going to manifest. I don't care what the devil say. I'm going to stand on. Yes, I'm wealthy. Very much what I call it. I am wealthy. However, it's for the kingdom to get the, to get the folks delivered and get them set free. This Sunday, this Sunday at 3 o'clock at the Somesta Hotel. I will be ministering uh, 5985 West Century, but I will be ministering. And continue our, our study of how the Lord lead. And then uh, Min Minister Geraldine Chandler will be speaking on a Jezebel spirit. She will be continuing that ministry. And whoever's there, amen, will be continuing that every this coming Sunday at 3 p.m. At the Sinestro, the Carlin Bar Room, First 
Lord, at 3 o'clock. We'll be there. We love you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you next week and Sunday at the Sunnessa. Bye-bye.